Hello, hello, Sir David the Bard. I'm coming to you from Idaho. Um, there's a hotel up here called the uh, Black Swan Inn. This is a neat hotel. It has like seven rooms, and each room has a theme. You know, there's a Romeo and Juliet theme. You can have a balcony, and it has a big jacuzzi. It holds three or four people downstairs. And there's a lion's den kind of a jungle and has fish, big fish swimming in a little pond. It wasn't bad. I don't know. It was a hundred and, I don't know, sixty dollars or something. So I'm down here in the uh, Romeo and Juliet room. Uh, I snuck through the door and uh, I'm laying here in the jacuzzi underneath a blanket. I don't think anyone's going to find me here, especially the Danites. Okay, well, now, uh, you know, you hear a lot of things here with uh, Sir David the Bard. I try to be cutting edge information. <laughs> I'm on the cutting edge and someone has cut me off. <laughs> God, that stupid bastard. Anyway, I have found a new scientific way to uh, enjoy um, our sex organs. Now, now sit down. Don't anybody stand up and cheer. This is a serious scientific report. Now, it, it's coming out of BYU. <laughs> No pun intended. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> I wish I'd known about this when I was at BYU. Uh, I, I just knew I was going into outer darkness because I would masturbate and I thought, oh my God, you know, when we die, everything we've ever did, according to the Mormons, uh, are going to be on videotape and everyone's going to be able to see it. And I go, oh geez, you know, I'm, I'm a nasty boy. Any, Anyway. Um, there's an article here. Uh, there's several of them. You can look them up on the uh, the internet. There's nothing totally official, okay? I want to be honest. I want to be honest. <laughs> no, I really do. <laughs> the um, term. Now, you may want to get a paper and a pencil out, and you may want to get the kids away from the, the bard, because... I, I'm just the reporter, okay? I'm just the reporter. Don't kill the messenger. Okay, this is called DICK, D-I-C-K, which means penis soaking, S-O-A-K-I-N-G, penis soaking. Well, when I read this, um, I thought, well, maybe you had an injury or, or there was, um, you know, some medical reason um, that you would be soaking your penis. Well, anyway, I decided to look up uh, in the Urban Dictionary. Now, <laughs> I don't know how authentic. I used to work for Mr. Miriam of the Miriam-Webster Dictionary. He was a neat guy. He had Parkinson's disease before there was L-Dopa. And uh, I went over there every day after high school, made good money, bought my 57 Chevy. Anyway, let's go down here and see if we can find... Here is the Urban Dictionary. I don't think it has a date on it, but it says Urban Dictionary. Okay, <laughs> number one, Dick Soak. In the Mormon faith, couples who wish to engage in premarital activities but do not want to dishonor their faith use the Dick Soak method. Now, I've heard of the withdrawal. <laughs> I've heard of a lot of things, but this is the first time the Dick Soak has crossed the bard's vision and intellect. Very little intellect. <laughs> anyway, um, the dick soak method occurs when the male's erect member uh, is placed inside the female vagina and lays still. Now, you know, you got to talk to the little general about this. <laughs> To go into battle and lay down and hide, I don't know. I don't know too many little generals that are going to agree to this. But that's not for me to say, okay? Uh, and it lays still. This is the soaking process. Sounds pretty innocent to me. The dick soak is a spiritual experience. Yeah, it's an experience I'd like to have spiritually. It allows both partners to connect with each other at a deep level without going all the way. For a dick soak to occur, the passionately paused penis must not make a single movement in any direction. It must 
soak. So there's some rules here. This is good for the Mormons. This is good for the Mormons. The Mormons like rules. They obey rules, okay? Maybe you can get the first presidency and the temple people to go and, and what do they say? And uh, no sexual intercourse except with your legally and lawfully wedded husband or wife. And nothing, uh, it's not similar, uh, nothing like it, you know, petting, those kinds of things. Anyway, the amount of soaking, now this is an interest to me because, um, you know, I could stay there and just die with a smile on my face. The amount of soaking needed in order to be an official dick soak, uh, see there's rules, is uh, exactly proportionate to the time it would take a dirty dish to soak before being ready to scrub or just before climax, whichever comes first. Note, if climax is reached during the soak, it is no longer considered a soak but sex. Now, I've got the length of this, uh, not the length, no, no I have the L-I-N-K to this. I have the length of this. So, if you're uh, interested in a vagina or a dick soaking, uh, I just want you to be able to be on the cutting edge of this and, and know what the hell you're doing. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I've lost myself, oh my gosh, I've lost myself, no, it's not there, oh God, is my, oh God, all right, am I on, am I off, am I up, am I down, oh God, there I am over there. <laughs> I don't know. This story has me a little distracted. A little distracted. Now, here, here's the question that I have, okay? Now, this is not intercourse, so you can go to the, the temple, I think, and if the, the bishop asks you, you know, do you masturbate, you, they'll say no. Well, the dick, the, the dick, <laughs> the bishop dick, <laughs> he's too stupid and too embarrassed to say, well, do you do dick soaping, uh, soaping? <laughs> Well, he asked that. Dick, soaping and soaking. I say, well, yeah, I've done a little soaking now and then. <laughs> How was that? How often do you do it? What was the girl's names? You know, the bishops go on with this stuff. They just get an erection sitting there uh, behind the desk. It's a good thing they don't sit out in front of the desk. Anyway. Um, now, I don't know any more about this. <laughs> don't write in and ask for details. Don't write in and ask for any, you know, advanced lessons in this. I'm just the messenger. I'm just an, a, uh, a graduate of BYU, and damn, they didn't have dick soaking when I was there. <laughs> and now that I don't have a dick, uh, it can't soak anyway. So, you know, I, I'm always a day late and a dollar short. So, anyway, if you want to know about uh, dick soaking... Uh, don't ask me. Uh, look it up on the uh, the internet, and um, <laughs> it, it does go around the BYU honor code. Dick soaking is not mentioned in the temple yet.